Hello and welcome to the 15th video in this series of videos on programming chess engine in C. In the last video we looked at FENs, so position descriptions, and in this video and the next we're going to write the function which actually takes one of these position strings and sets it up on the chessboard. So the first thing you need to do is in defs.h is add a definition for the starting FEN string and put in the appropriate values as I've done here. You can also download the code and you've got it then anyway. And it should be fairly familiar what all this is from the previous video. So when we're going to start writing the function now, and the way this function is going to work is it's literally going to have a pointer which is pointing at the start to this small r and is going to walk through this string character by character by character by character. And in this video we'll deal with the pieces section here. So it's going to involve a little bit of copying and pasting because otherwise I'll be typing for an hour rather than describing as I want to. And we're going to call the function inside board.c. We're going to call it pass underscore fen. It takes as an argument a pointer to our position string and also a pointer to our board. The next thing I want to do is actually just put a couple of asserts in there and check that we do have something that we're actually pointing at, otherwise we'll end up with some rather interesting problems with our program and nice crashes and maybe a blue screen if we're lucky. And then I'll reset the board and declare some variables. So resetting the board here should be fairly obvious from the from a couple of videos ago where we wrote the reset board function. And here we've got a rank and we start at rank 8, remember, when we're starting from the left here, this is the 8th rank on our board. And the file is file A because we start at the first file, the file A, and walk through file by file. Then we've got a variable to hold our piece if we find one, count to count the number of empty squares if they're declared inside so for instance on the start FEN 8 empty squares square 64 and 120 are self-explanatory as usual and I is simply used for a for loop later on in the function so the way the function works is with a while loop and what this while loop does is whilst the rank we're on is greater than or equal to the first rank so whilst we haven't dropped off the bottom of the board going down through the ranks and we're actually pointing to something in our FRN string, then do something. What that thing is, we will analyze whatever character we're currently pointing at and do something according to what that character is. And the way we do that is with a big old switch statement, which unfortunately doesn't quite fit on the screen, but you can download the code and I'll talk through it now anyway. So we switch to the current character that we're pointing at if it's a P, R, N, B, K or Q, capital or lowercase, we set the piece variable appropriately for that piece and break. Otherwise, it must be a count of a number of empty squares from 1 to 8. So we set piece to empty and we set our count variable, which is always set to 1 at the start of the while loop, to the appropriate number here. And I could have used A2I from the standard library to do this, but I didn't want to include the standard library when not necessary. So I've done it by simply subtracting the ASCII values of these characters from another, because in ASCII the numbers are in sequence. So if you have a number from 0 to 9 and you subtract one from the other, then you get the difference numeric as an integer between the two. So that's what I've done here. And then we break. If we get a forward slash or a space, then it means either we're at the end of the pieces, so we've got a space here, or we've got a new rank, in which case we decrement rank, because we're starting our next rank, remember we're dropping in the ranks because we start at rank 8, and we set our file back to file A, and we walk through to the next character in our position string, and then continue the while loop, which means we go back up here, set counter 1, and have a look at the character we're pointing now. So if, for instance, we had this forward slash here, we would then have decremented the rank from rank 8 to rank 7. We would have set the file back to file A and walk through to the next character, this small p, and would then be setting that on the appropriate square. If, however, we got something else apart from the characters above, then there must have been an error in the FEN string and we'll return a minus 1 so that we know there's an error. So once all that's set up, all that remains actually is simply to either walk through 
in files the number of empty squares or set the piece we found on the board. And the first thing I'll talk about is the files. If you imagine that we are on file A and the rank is, let's say, 4, and we we had the character 4. That would mean now that count is set to 4. So if you look through this loop here, we will loop, we'll start at 0, and whilst i is less than count, we will then loop. So after the first, at the end of that, we will basically increase file then four times. So file will go A, B, C, D, and then to and stop on file E. So you can see that we will end up with our four empty squares, and now file will be looking at file E. Always on the same rank, but looking at file E. And once that's been counted through, you can ignore this bit for the moment, because piece will be, remember, empty if we've had one of these numbers. And here it says if piece is not equal to empty, do something. And once that loop is finished, then we move to the next character in the position string. So if in our string, say, we had a rank that had four, rook, king, queen, pawn, let's say, and then the next rank, well, we were on file A, but it said loop through four times, which it's done to put us on file E, and then FEN pointer is increased to the next character, which is a capital R, and we will go back to the top of the while loop. It would find the capital R, pieces white rook, and now when we came back down to here, our file would be on the file E, and we would actually be putting our piece on the board there. I hope that's clear. If it's not, write it out by hand, but it should be fairly clear. So if we'd found a piece, then piece won't be equal to empty, and count will be equal to 1, because count is set to 1 at the start of the loop, which means we only have one loop, piece isn't equal to empty, and at our square 120 in our pieces array, we'll set the value there to piece, because remember they are all set in our reset board function at the start of this function to empty. And then we go on to the next character in the string. Okay, I hope that's fairly self-explanatory. That's the first part and the most complicated part in this function of setting up the position from the position string. In the next video, we'll set the rest of the values, side, casting permission, etc. Thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, welcome, as always, on YouTube.